Welcome to Blood Bath and Beyond. Today we're unboxing the September Horror Pack, Blu-ray edition. Horror Pack is a monthly subscription service that sends you movies to your house every single month. You get Blu-rays, you get DVDs. Some are good, some are bad. It's a mix bag, and there's always that Horror Pack exclusive. That's the treat, I think. Regardless of the other three you get, having that exclusive is always nice, cause you know you don't own it. I was supposed to open this while John was talking and I forgot. Now we have to slowly watch the peel. That's what all the tech channels do, you know? New TV, new monitor, <laughs> new phone. It's off the BSMR channel. First up, we've got Wakewood. It's creepy, it's weird. It's one of those movies that I don't probably care about because it's got a creepy child on it. But Robbie Cullen of News of the World gave it five out of five. Instant folk horror classic. I've never commented on the weight of any of these Blu-rays we get, but th this one's heavy. Great weight to it. We're gonna watch the trailer. Five minutes later. This is Pet Cemetery. Girl dies, shady local, brings her back, brings a couple animals back. Just they have the power in the woods to bring people back. It's Pet Cemetery. But it is from Hammer, which is interesting. I didn't know they were putting out movies still. Everyone has always said, you guys need to do more Hammer movies from way back in the 50s and shit. Not interested. Still not interested. Next up. We've, oh, well, that was the wrong way. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. We don't need to watch the trailer for this one. This is a fun time. It's clowns from outer space that come down and they kill you. Often wrap you up in uh, cotton candy, spin you around a little bit. Yep, they do all sorts of hilarious things. And the clowns themselves are hilarious in different shapes and sizes. I like that they got little chubby ones. They got big boys. <laughs> yep. They got skinny guys. And this is one of those, I think this was a Walmart exclusive like a couple years back or something. Because I remember we got a Chucky from Horror Pack mm -hmm. that had this same kind of cover. Yeah, so you can see here the cover actually comes off. Oh, you scoundrels. <laughs> Not Horror Pack, but whoever made this is just like, well, we're not gonna redo everything. We're, we're just, just gonna keep... insert this one slip right in front of it. This is a film that a lot of people know, and if you don't own it, this is a great one. And if you do own it, well, you got a little poster you can put on your wall. No one's putting a small little DVD sized poster on their wall. I used to do that all the time when I would get my Dragon Ball Z movies, cause they would have those, any anime movie, they would have like the sticker version of the cover. You just and throw I'm it on your wall? Throw it on my wall. I'm not allowed to put things on my wall in my uh, apartment. I won't be one of those guys. Killer clowns from outer space. Next up we have. Ooh. Sorry. Ooh. Kicking in that ASMR. We got the last laugh. This kind of looks cool. We got a spooky guy straight out of Ghost of Tsushima. And this shout out. Is this our horror pack limited edition? It is number 63. Thank you for the reminder, John. Uh, <laughs> this is like written right there. I was looking lower. I was looking at the cool mask and the, the lighting really threw me off. The, the thing like, is, this looks way too quality to be a horror pack limited edition. Because we always get the cover and it's too dark and it doesn't actually say it. We look for the little number on the side. This is good printing. Yeah. I like it. Long face, very long face. Why the long face horse? That's a joke. Looking at the back, it says the killing joke. Isn't that like a Batman reference? Five minutes later. This actually doesn't look bad. Like watching the trailer, it looks kind of cool. There's a dead body in my dressing room. It's about like a stand-up comic who I think has stage fright and is probably hallucinating this entire movie. Yeah. That's a... Uh, Probably a spoiler. I don't know. It looks like it's like stage fright. I just said stage fright. No, the film stage fright. Also a good movie. Check it out. <laughs> Lots of musicals. Big fan. <laughs> yeah. With our kabuki killer. And this kind of looks like a kabuki killer. Painted silver. Laughing Linda is what they called it here. That sounds like garbage pail kid to me. But it doesn't look bad. It looks like a jalo kind of thing. Like we got the black leather gloves with the big hunting knife uh, with a mask. You don't know if it's male or female based on how they're dressed. It looks pretty cool. I think it's a good pickup for an exclusive because I would never know of this film if it wasn't for Horror Pack. If you guys have seen it, let us know in the comments. Love to hear what your thoughts are. <laughs> Finally, John, what do we have? Our last one is Tremors, A Cold Day in Hell. Bert's back at it again, him and his son. Played by Jamie Kennedy. Oh my God. Yep, they're back at it again. This time they're probably heading up to uh, the Antarctic, I imagine. Ass blasters in the Arctic? I stand corrected. They're heading to Canada. It's probably Northern Canada. Nope, it's probably Ontario, because that's what they assume. In Ontario, for the record, it does not snow all the time. 
Nor do we have Tremors that I'm aware of. This is the Ass Blaster version. We're in for it now. I would watch this movie. I love Tremors. I love the addition of Jamie Kennedy to the Tremors franchise. Uh, Michael Gross is fantastic. The Tremors are great too. I'm down with this. I don't think I would go out of my way to buy it. And I certainly <laughs> didn't. So, so this is great. This is a great addition. I know there's another one right after this, which is like Shriek Island, which we saw at like Walmart the other day. <laughs> yeah. And I almost bought it only because I I wanted to complete my collection. It would have been incomplete had I picked it up anyway. It would have been a cold day in hell for you. I am so sad I didn't own every Tremors movie. You should be. I'm being facetious. Of course I want all of the Tremors movies. And I love Jamie Kennedy. Randy's my favorite guy from Scream. And look at him with a gun. He looks so stupid. I have to see it <laughs> now. I'm sorry, Jamie. I know you watch all these videos. Ever since we met you, we were BFFs. So we got Tremors, Cold Dan Hell, right on. Probably on the cheaper side of this whole lot. Last Laugh you've never seen anywhere, but it does look way better than a lot of other movies that even come in the horror pack sometimes. I love the poster. I, the trailer actually looks pretty cool and to set a slasher in a comedy club is pretty interesting. It, I'm interested, and some of the gore looks good. Killer Clowns from Outer Space, big fan of this movie. It's a classic. I did a commentary, half a commentary, with uh, the death twitch Eric Harrison way back in the day, and my internet cut out, so I'm only there for half the time, but go to his channel and check that out if you want half of my commentary. And Wakewood just looks like Pet Cemetery, and I'm not interested in this whatsoever. Not bad. I don't hate this because I would have never heard of The Last Laugh otherwise, and I wanted Tremors. Why not have Tremors? What'd you guys think of the Horror Pack? Check out horrorpack.com for the pricing, and use the code BLOODBATH to save $3 on your first order. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay up to date with everything here on Bloodbath and Beyond. We're almost at 100K. Help us get there. We stopped uploading regular videos here. We only do the shilling ones. That was a shilling joke. Yeah.